let's say you have a very big villa, big, big house, and you don't know there's a small window on the ground floor which you never mm -hmm. knew, and if it remains open, are you secure? Is your house secure? No. Mm -hmm. The same applies for asset inventory. So asset uh, gaps lies into major three areas. One is your physical assets, mm -hmm. your servers that you may not know, your endpoints that you may not know. Second is softwares. People are started using software, they're downloading softwares from public sites, using open source software, which is most of the favorite nowadays. Mm -hmm. And the third is your third party. So if you see in a lot of mature organization, banks mainly, they have a something called a dedicated third party risk assessment team. Yeah. So what they do is they want to ensure that there is not a single third party contract being signed without looking at the exposure from a cybersecurity perspective. If you have an asset or an endpoint running without EDR, that's literally leaving a window open on your ground floor for somebody <laughs> to enter right ask your vendor to provide the answer to this basic question mm -hmm. are they mature enough in the controls or not and we let management also know so the most important last thing I do when I want the business to go ahead without worrying about security mm -hmm. is I let the management know that these are the residual risk. You can go ahead, but in the absence of controls, mm -hmm. in the absence of all the things that you want to have in place, these are the residual risk. Please sign up and go ahead. Because sometimes business mm -hmm. do take priorities and it should take priority. Yeah.